John Kinjemi here with running back Kalen Balaj, Arizona State, way of Calif uh, Colorado, mm -hmm. born in Colorado. Tell us about that experience going from the state of Colorado to Arizona State and being a Sun Devil. Uh, well, it was completely different for sure, um, but I wanted that. I wanted to, to make myself uncomfortable and, and get in a different situation, and that's what Arizona State was, and I warmed up to it, and, man, I love it. I'm a Sun Devil forever now. Well, this is a place where you're going to no need to warm up. It's going to be warm for you here in South Florida. What was your experience like being drafted by the Miami Dolphins, and take us through that, that day waiting for your name to be called? <sighs> Um, honestly, I really didn't even watch the draft. Um, I, I kind of just chilled in the next room over, and mm -hmm. I had you know some family and friends over, and they were watching it, but I wasn't really too focused on it. I wasn't really paying too much attention to it. I knew that um, you know if it was my time to go, somebody would call my phone, and we would go from there. So um, stressful, but not stressful at the same time. I think I took a lot of that off myself by not watching. Well, you know what? You get an opportunity where you come in, you've got a young running back in Drake. Mm -hmm. You've got an experienced guy in, in Gore. Uh, two guys to really learn from and, and kind of get your game to settle in and, and find your way with a lot of experience on one side and a lot of uh, expectation on the other. Right. Um, yeah, I'm extremely excited. Um, Ken and Drake is, I mean, he's special. We all know that we all got to the opportunity to see that last year. And um, I'm excited to learn from him and the way he plays. And then Frank Gore as well is like one of the most experienced running backs to ever do it. Fourth all time on a rushing list. And he's just done so many things the right way, taking care of his body and just everything. He's, he's a true pro. So I'll, I'll have the ability to watch him. Now, I was reading your bio. Take me through eight touchdowns against Texas Tech. I mean, I saw, I saw it. I, I cover college football, so I got to watch it when you did it. A lot of... Uh, Direct snap, mm -hmm. a, a lot of wildcat in the end zone, but that I don't, you don't, nobody does that on air. Mm -hmm. How'd you do that? How cool was that? It's me and ten other guys <laughs> out there, you know. So it wasn't just me; it was a collective, like a team effort. Everybody did what they were supposed to do, and you know, we won the game like 68 to 55. It, you know, it was a complete shootout. So um, there's a lot of offense being played. What's your expectations coming down to South Florida, being a young guy? excitement level getting waiting to get out on the football field but personally for you what do you what are you looking for yourself to prove just just grind um you know something that like my mother always told me is like don't don't do things to prove other people wrong do things to prove yourself right you know about who you are and what you're able to do so that's just something that i live by you know i think i'm capable of a lot so i want to go and you know put that on film well, i got to see you do that at arizona state got to see you do that down in mobile at the senior bowl can't wait to see you do it as a member of the miami dolphins thank you congratulations on being a member and can't wait to see you out there thank you appreciate it you